Hey guys, this lesson's on um, finding change in electric potential of uh, kind of reading, uh, practicing the loop rule essentially. So let's say we have a big complicated thing like this. So essentially we have this here, this blue thing is a battery, and then we got a couple resistors here, uh, or three resistors here, and a bunch of voltmeters reading um, all different things. Um, well, I'll, I'll spare you the like all the looking at this and basically you know we're finding the voltage drop for each one of these and we essentially have to figure out what voltmeter D reads because we know that A equals 2, B equals 3, and C equals 5. And um, fortunately we don't have to like you know look at all this and figure out and be, be an uh, electrical engineer to figure out all this because we know the loop rule and the loop rule means that um, all uh, electric potential will in, in a loop will end up equaling zero. So we just add all these up, two, three, and five. Since it has to equal zero in a loop, then our delta V will be negative ten volts. And uh, let's see, figure that out. And but let's let's say uh, since this is D and it's it's basically uh, finding the voltage drop of this resistor here. Um, let's say this D is point one centimeter. I mean point one meter. And we want to find the uh, uh, the E field inside this resistor. So we want to find it. Uh, so what do we know about delta V since uh, this voltmeter is just reading this. We know that delta V equals E times delta L. Let me put a question mark right here so we remember. Um, so, and we know delta L is just D, 0.1 meter, and we know V is negative 10. So, it's just going to be negative 10 over 0.1, and that'll give us our E. So, our E will equal negative 100 newtons per coulomb, and that's how you figure out a problem like that. Um, if you have any questions, please send me a message, and uh, I'll see you next lesson.